Meanwhile, the scene in San Jose is significantly calmer than the fiery unrest we saw on Friday. KPIX 5's Kenny Choi on the police department's plans going forward now that the city's curfew has been lifted. For days, the city of San Jose on edge with officers and civilians clashing. We are responding to the acts of violence against our police officers, and we are responding uh, to individuals trying to destroy our city. I think um, at the end of the day, I think all of these people here, all across America, as you've seen, 50 states have protested. We are tired. We are done. When I say black lives, you say matter. Black Tensions have cooled after days of escalating violence with rocks, bottles, and crowbars thrown. Police firing non lethal projectiles and, in some cases, tear gas. In all, 180 arrests. There were individuals running around through downtown with accelerants and lighters lighting fires. We give up that space. I guarantee you, it was only a matter of time before they started structure fires. And then we would have been one of those cities on the news burning. We made the decision to not give up. The 8 p.m. curfew Garcia called extremely helpful to quell the violence has been lifted by the city council. It's a move that's a difficult balancing act. The way in the city uh, intends to live under a curfew for any extended period of time. Nobody believes that's a tolerable way to live. This is not a state of martial law. That is not what we're going to become. Uh, we are going to use this in a very targeted way if we ever use it again. We may see individuals that would have abided by the curfew go home that decide to stay. Uh, and, and, you know, when that happens, you know, you have a large crowd, and if the violence erupts with an even larger crowd, then there's a possibility that innocent people get hurt. So some of the protesters are right behind me. Another group has marched uh, around the city block several times. They've been out here for several hours in this sweltering heat, mid-90s uh, this afternoon. But they say that they plan to stay here as long as they can because they know that the curfew has been lifted. As for the mayor, he said that this is a day-to-day -day situation. If the data and the intelligence calls for it, he'll call an emergency session with the city council if they have to enact the curfew once again. We're live in San Jose. Kenny Choi, KPIX 5.